Hello, I am Gregory Rothbottom, and I'm going to show you how to make the world's best pizza. Now, we're going to start with a few ingredients, and these ingredients are going to be bread. Doesn't matter what kind of bread, as long as it's bread, you're all good to go. And on that bread, we're going to add tomato sauce, of course. It's not pizza without tomato sauce. And of course, we must add some mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese is vital. Your topping can vary, but for this video, I'm going to go with a nice healthy mushroom. Yes, mushroom. Can't go wrong with that. And the next thing you should find is your pizza looking something like this. If it looks any different, then you've done something wrong. It must be bread, sauce, cheese, then topping, as you can see here. Now, what's really handy about the modern world is the air fryer. You just need to throw it right in there, and there you go. I did it to both sides, for I did many sides of my portion. Now, you need to check your running time. I chose to do about three minutes in there on 200. But as you could see when I opened it up, it wasn't melted yet. And you always want a melty pizza, don't you? So I put it back in there. I took it back out when it was gone again, and as you can see, it looks more like a pizza now, which is what we want. So the next thing is naturally to do is just to plate it up, look at your pizza, study it. If it's ready to go, then of course you can eat it. And what proves this is a really nice, genuinely brilliant pizza is the fact I had a really, really big cheese pull, as you can see there. Look at that cheese. Look how it was refusing to go. Ignore the soggy context and the soggy texture. It was a good pizza. Maybe you want sauce. I wasn't quite ready for it, but I decided I would just continue and I would eat my fantastic pizza. If you followed my instructions and congratulations, best pizza maker, you have made the world's best pizza. Does anyone want any more cooking tips from me? I'll be happy to provide.